Hey folks, welcome back to the Beer Wrench Garage, and uh, today we're uh, drinking our old mainstay Tito's and grapefruit. And I uh, don't have a specific video topic, but uh, we're doing a little bit of maintenance to our uh, this 2006 Toyota 4Runner. And I thought I'd bring you along to show, show you a couple things. But first, uh, please go ahead and click that like button or that thumbs up button. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything and helps out the channel a lot. So today, uh, we're going to do a couple things. Uh, we're going to try out our Quick Jack uh, 7000 TL with the 4Runner. I uh, have the truck lifts on it and see how that works. This is a body on frame, uh, full size SUV. So uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, just how that looks. Two, we're going to change the oil. Uh, it's been a bit, um, probably almost a year and a half uh, that we haven't done the oil. So we got to get that done. And three, we'll, we'll take a quick look around underneath to make sure everything looks decent, nothing uh uh, looks too uh, concerning, just the typical kind of uh, uh, look see you do when you're doing a regular preventive maintenance. All right, so follow me. I'll show you uh, how we got the quick jack positioned and how it will uh, hopefully raise your car. All right, so the way we have the quick jack positioned here is um, it's kind of lined up to try to catch the uh, frame rail like in front of the cross member right there next to the cat right and then on the back well, I don't know if you can see that but I'm trying to have the lifting puck hit the frame uh, right in front of where the uh, uh, I guess what is that control arm mount goes so considering that the uh, bulk of the weight on the truck is uh, at the front uh, this should be a pretty good setup so let's go ahead and uh, give it a lift and see what it looks like and then see if we can go all the way up all right so up we go Okay. So here's one thing that I want to make sure we get right. If you look here, the puck is a little bit uh, off center. I mean, just slightly off center. So I'm going to lower it down and then ensure the puck is aligned as perfect as I can get it. On the back end, it's pretty good. So let's take the, let's take the quick jack down. All right. And let's get this guy a little bit further down. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, so give it some juice. Good. Looks good on the back. Let's check the other side. Yep, I'll take that. I don't know if it's perfect, but uh, I think it's secure. So that's that's what we're looking for. All right, let's see how it goes up. And up we go. Second lock, and we'll lower it to the safety lock. Okay, let's double check and make sure we're good. 
locked in on the safety lock right there. Right there. Good engagement with the puck on the frame. Good engagement with the puck on the frame on the driver's side. <clears throat> Locked in on the puck on there, passenger side. Good engagement uh, with the puck on the uh, passenger side. Good engagement with the puck on the passenger side. All right, so folks, this is uh, the Quick Jack 7000 TL in all its glory, a full lock with a 4,500 pound full size body on frame SUV on there. And uh, as you saw, we used the uh, pucks, uh, we used the uh, truck pucks and we used them on, on the frame. So it should be a nice and secure. <laughs> Yeah, well, it'll shake a bit, but even if you had it on a uh, two-post lift, you'd still uh, you'd still get some shaking. But uh, that is the correct way to lift this vehicle on the quick jack. All right, now that we got the old girl up on uh, the quick jack, let's go underneath and take a look, see, and uh, see how she looks. Well, I know how she looks, but I want to check up, uh, make sure nothing's going crazy since the last time I checked, but I want to show you how she looks, and so uh, follow me over. All right, down we go. Okay. So, first things first, we verify again that our uh, pucks are on. Uh, nice and secure and they are so we'll start off all right start off with the front here so you can get you some light sorry hang on all right um here's the uh radiator i, I need to remove the i'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh what do you call it the uh skin plate and it'll give you a little bit better idea of the engine. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's remove the skid plate real quick. Okay, knocked out the skid plate. Um, and as you can see, uh, engine, uh, subframe, it's got wear on it, right? Like, I mean, it's been driven, but uh, knock on wood, nothing is, uh, let me get this out of the way. Nothing is like falling apart. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that could use a little bit of a, <sighs> um, attention, but for a 2006 with 195,000 miles on it, this thing looks really not bad at all. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna knock on wood. That right there is where the transmission mates to the engine block and it's a dry. So our rear main seal looks great. Got a little bit of seepage from the um, front differential. Oh goodness, more than a little. But, oh my gosh. Not gonna have to worry about that just yet. Um, I can hear a little bit of a exhaust leak inside the car. I don't know if it's that little gap right there or the gasket is disintegrated or uh, or if it's some other kind of rust. I'd have to get down there when the uh, car is running. Um, but yeah, if you follow the, the whole deal all the way through, um, she doesn't look bad. Uh, frame is not overly rusted there's some surface rust here and there nasty shit some surface rust down there and oh gotta get this kind of crap out of here this is like um remnants of last time we had it in the dirt all right well i'll get that out in a minute i don't want to like spend uh camera time on it yeah so um it's not leaking there not leaking at the rear main seal uh, not really leaking at the oil pan at all. Uh, just got a little bit of a differential leak, which, you know, we'll get that. Uh, everything else looks solid. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give it a little oil change and uh, 
feed her with a uh, OEM Toyota filter. Let's see. Last time whew, that was done was January of 22 at 185. Uh-oh, 874. Yeah, we've been, uh, we've neglected this thing. Uh, it's about 194 shit. So it's been 9,000 miles. So luckily uh, we use good quality oil and good filters. I didn't realize that that long. Whew. All right. So let's drain the oil and then I'll close up the uh, video. All right. Just because I'm curious, I didn't, re I didn't realize we'd gone 9,000 miles without changing the oil. Um, I'm going to take an oil sample to send to Blackstone and see what it says. Um, I drive this truck really hard. Uh, uh, I mean, I spare it no quarter. So I'm curious how the oil is hold up, held up. It's uh, Mobile One 5W30 full synthetic. So I'll get the sample right there. There you go. And set that down. We'll go ahead and let it drain. All right. Well, folks, I don't know if you can make out that behind that sway bar, but that's a new oil filter, and it says 194926. May of 2023. Uh, old oil filter said 184874. So uh, January of 2022. So nearly a year and a half and uh, 9,000 miles. Again, I didn't realize it was that many miles. So <laughs> luckily we ran uh, OEM filter and Mobile One 5W30 high mileage. So um, what I did do is I took the oil sample and uh, we'll get that sent in and out of curiosity we'll see what it says. Otherwise I'm getting ready to uh, put the uh, skid plates back on and fill up the oil. All right see you upstairs. All right so with all that done we'll uh, go ahead and lower the uh, old girl down and Dump in six and a half quarts of Mobile One's finest Dino Juice, and uh, call that a uh, call that a day. So let me just show you real quick uh, how we're gonna lower this thing down. So to be able to lower it down, we need to raise it up just a bit to be able to get past the uh, locks. So we'll go up slightly, slightly more. a little bit more and that lets this cam relax uh, to be able to get it off the lock all right same deal on the other side that cam rolls down And with the cams down, it's just a matter of relaxing the quick jack. <laughs> All right, so. see the pucks are disengaged and the truck is all the way down all right folks well i hope you uh like that little tour underneath this uh this old girl and a little demonstration of how uh, the quick jack 7000 tl in this case works on a uh, full bodied uh, suv full framed suv so uh please go ahead and give me a thumbs up let me know uh what you think about the quick jack and what other types of uh, vehicles you've used it on and uh, what you think about the placement of the frame or any other thoughts you might have. All right, and then uh, if you like what you see, please go ahead and uh, uh, subscribe. Uh, check out some of our other content. We do, uh, we've been doing a lot of work on other types of cars. A lot of Audis lately, but it'll do some more other types of cars. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.